Khadija and in today's video I will be reacting for you to episode 7 of Pretty Boy Detective Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I am so stupid. Oh, I make myself crack up way too much. <laughs> Okay. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because wouldn't that take her at least a couple of hours or a few days? Mm hmm Oh, look at her little peanut butter outfit. It's so adorable. No. But apparently not because she did it. <laughs> awesome. Just gotta keep an eye on you. <laughs> yes, 
keep playing my favorite song. And this is your chance to also ask him anything else that you need to. Of course. Perhaps. Because still at the same time, we barely really know anything about him. See, all right, see, once again, you're giving me the monogatari feels. Oh my god, that's freaking Agaragi and what's her face? How he even acts like her. Oh my god, see, y'all gonna make me want to rewatch monogatari again. Maybe. Really? Okay. Yeah. Why would you, like, yeah, setting up a meeting like this is... Yeah, he's very weird. Just like what's her face.
Oh. Excuse me. Yes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> No, not really.
light twice. So it's still there. Oh. Yeah, I mean, seriously, she had to be up there for hours, maybe even days or a week at least. All the students that she kidnapped? That makes sense. Hey, go away. What? Well, Toa, you look, you, bitch, you also look like that one chick from Monogat today. Damn. Yeah. Were you just expecting someone to find them seven years later? Well, I mean, yeah, they found it, but just not in the way I don't think you really wanted. <laughs> Or what I like to call male Hatsume Miku, because, oh my god. Mm. 
So freaking pretty. Yeah, they really actually did it in two episodes. Gorgeous. You did such a good job. Oh my god, precious baby. Okay, so Miss Toa, I, I thought she was a very interesting character. She, from, if I can compare her to one character from the Monogatari series, it's the woman who was, who is first introduced with Oronoki, um, her, like, she, like, one of them badass bitches. This is now the second woman who was also a badass bitch. I mean, you know damn <laughs> like I can't oh my god but yeah she's she seemed different but like her motive of doing it and making a really gorgeous painting plus taking the paintings that she had putting it in the basement or, or really the attic of the art room and then seven years later for our detective club to find it even though she was like maybe like another art room or I mean not art not art room ugh. art club would have found it and maybe I'm thinking like okay if they did find it would they have been um inspired by it but in a way someone was i think everybody was inspired by her art i mean if they weren't you know they wouldn't have done the art of the constellations and the galaxy together because oh my god that's so fucking pretty like oh but like i can't like oh this show is so underrated once again seven weeks in and i, I can't it's so freaking good there are some times where i'm like i'm a, I'm a little confused and such but hell I was like that during Monogatari and the one thing that is a little different about with this series versus the Monogatari series is that I have someone who is able to explain any of the questions that I have or any of the concerns or like when I make a facial expression on something like a little you, you think like a question mark is going off on my head like what the fuck um, and people were immediately able to catch that when we were watching the show together and because they had already known everything. With this series, because I have not read the source material, and to the fact is, like, there's not as much people either watching this show, reacting on this show, or even commenting about this show, um... In the end, sometimes I have to use, like, context clues just to figure it out myself. And, and you know what? Honestly, that is fine. I think it's one of the best ways to enjoy this series because, it, like I said, it's hella underrated. And the this cast of several boys and one girl is it, just so interesting. I think this story, like, um, probably strongest case, uh, I think still between one and two, I think, Case one was still the ultimate strongest, and it went, it, it went in with a bang, and it went out with a bang. And then case two was really good. I did like the fact that you know, dude from case two came back to play into case three, and so I'm still hoping that 
Ray from case one does have a chance to possibly show up because we're we're only I think we have now what a couple more weeks before we're done with the show. This either has like twelve or thirteen episodes. And we are now I'm now going into unknown territory. We have just really witnessed the first three books in the first seven episodes. Cause like I said, your girl, once this once the series is over, I am going to read this series because like I said, I'm hella intrigued. Even though like a lot of people say um, I think either the translations, like the official or the way of the wording in the book isn't the greatest. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to have to find out on my own when I read it specifically. But now since we are done with the first three cases of the first three books, like I said, we're going into, well, not where, I'm going into unknown territory because I don't think books four to probably wherever in the world they're going to end this series. Um... Is translated into English so next week whatever they're going to do is going to be interesting every single week it's always interesting to see um, what case they're going to do what's the gonna be who, who's gonna get the connection to it and such how who's going to shine the most besides uh, Mayumi because of course Mayumi is the one who is our female protagonist and the one who we are looking through the point of view of for the entirety of the series. Even though we get to see everybody else's point of view, she's the one that we're seeing everything through since the beginning. So no matter what, I mean, whatever the hell is about to happen next. Because something tells me, um, Hota, my, my little, my precious boy with like the, mm, the legs, my cutie baby leg boy. I think he might get shine a little bit of screen, a lot of screen time with like whatever story is going to be connected with him next, because it seems like he, yeah, he seems like he's the only one left out of the group that hasn't gotten like a connection type episode, or it's going to be um dude with the red hair, one of them, possibly even both of them. Technically, you kind of had it with these two part episodes, but. Um, mainly it was just, you know, our artist getting, you know, the time of the time because it was about a picture. I mean, not even a picture, a painting. So, yeah, but other than that, guys, this was a really good episode. But other than that, if you guys, <laughs> wait, no, I'm fucking up. <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Pretty Boy Deceptive Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode 8. Bye, guys.